morning everybody, it is Sunday morning and I have gone to church. This is my church, The Meeting House. I've been coming here um, semi-regularly since 2011 and I figured today would be a great day to show you um, where I go because a week from now I am going with my church and World Vision to um, Malawi in Africa and that's coming up soon. So yeah, I thought I'd introduce you guys. So it's not exactly uh, a traditional church the way you would think of like old stonework or old woodwork or like crazy architectural whatever that praises the Lord. It's um, because it's from an Anabaptist background, it just comes from a very humble and practical experience. Um, yeah, it's just very, uh, they, I mean, they got a warehouse because that was just like the most financially responsible thing to do, I suppose. They try to keep it really simple. They don't do a lot of decoration. Uh, at the same time, this church specifically is also very modern. So instead of having pews and stuff, they have like movie theater style seating. Um, which I think is really cool and they have like big projectors and stuff and they're very like technologically advanced they like film everything on HD cameras and put it on their website which I really like they engage in like social media and stuff I don't know I think it's really cool and then the music that they play is like kind of I mean not like I don't know if you've been to church before or if you know or if you care but like they have like a full band and they play like somewhat rock-ish music, like electric guitars and rocking out guitar solos. I think the music's really good. I think the social media is really good. I just think it's a really cool place. For the first two weeks of December, we have some folks going over who, like other learning teams, are going to be coming back as advocates for what they experienced there. But more than that, this time, we're sending kind of a team of specialists. We're going over with a camera crew. We're going to be coming back also with some curriculum material for both our youth and our children to introduce them to this kind of, of cross-continent compassion connection that we're involved in. We're going to the communities where we sponsor children, both Maposa and Chamba. And here, we're close to 2,000, we're around 1,800 children that we sponsor as a church, which is something to celebrate. We want to hit the 2,000 mark. And also, so you may not know this, but these two communities where we sponsor children are both filled with Muslim families. These are Muslim communities, and that really ties in with what we've been talking about through our ISIS, Islam, and Jesus series. We want to find practical ways to be a blessing to our Muslim friends, neighbors, even neighbors who are on the other side of the world. And we're doing that through our World Vision partnership. We're also going to be sending over as part of the team someone that World Vision is co-sponsoring with us to send, so it's financially uh, very responsible for us to do this at this time, and that's Corey Bedell. Hi, my name is Corey, and if you're watching this video right now, there's a really good chance you've heard of a website called YouTube. He vlogs, and thousands of people watch his daily vlog and uh, get to know his life through YouTube, and so World Vision is partnering with us to send him over so that he can vlog about the trip and then just kind of spread the news that way. So there's a lot of things going to be happening in this trip. Uh, there's going to be up updates for you online to check out, but for now we just want to let you know about it and invite you to join us in prayer for these exciting things that are happening. Good morning. Over the past number of weeks, we have been learning from Bruxy just how we can live this kingdom ethic of love and peace in very practical ways, and in particular, how we can live this out in our North American context with our Muslim neighbors here locally and then around the world. And so we're going to continue on that theme today, but we're going to consider that in order to be a peacemaker, we need to be a compassion maker first. So I am thrilled that today we can welcome Dave Toyson to our stage. Dave is the president and CEO of World Vision Canada. He has been the president for 18 years, but he has worked his entire tenure, uh, 41 years at World Vision Canada, or sorry, World Vision, and um, he's just announced his retirement recently, so I am thrilled that we have an opportunity to hear from him and learn from him as he shares his heart. So why don't you join with me in welcoming Dave. Thanks, Dave. The collateral damage is the way I describe it. It's just to remind you again the numbers of refugees that have been created by all this violence. So, for example, in Lebanon, a quarter of the population now is estimated to be refugees. That's uh, close to, there are over one and a half million people. In neighboring Jordan, the same thing. Roughly a quarter of their population has now become refugees. 
And just imagine if, if that equal percentage, that would be, what, eight to nine million people in Canada that suddenly were here over the course of a year and a half or two years were refugees. Just imagine the impact it would have on our country. So I just encourage you to keep those folks in prayer and, uh, and support in whatever way you can. So that was not a typical service for the meeting house. It was just pure coincidence that the president of World Vision Canada happened to be speaking here today and I'm going on a trip with World Vision in a week. Like, pure coincidence, pretty cool. Um, but World Vision is really great. Uh, if you wanted to watch um, the service that just happened, they do record everything and put it on YouTube. Uh, so I'll link to that in the description if you wanted to check it out. But I'll repeat that this was not a typical meeting house service. Normally it's the guy Bruxy with the, the long hair, the hippie looking dude. He's normally the teacher and would teach about like, you know, biblical things or, or what have you, theology and such. So yeah, this is my church. Welcome. I've been here many dozens of times. I got I got baptized uh, uh, right there a while ago and I have a couple friends here and people are laughing at me because they know I'm vlogging. Oh. Rachel's over there watching me and laughing at me. But yeah, uh, just wanted to share that with you and they told me that, that I was going to be in that video that played. So yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Look at it. It's already, it's not even four o'clock and the sun is already in its lovely setting position and we have a nice golden hour hue and a nice lens flare look at that man i haven't seen a nice lens flare like that in a while wow also all the snow's gone so that was short-lived so cory's off doing more church things he is at uh the meeting house where he was earlier today. Um, they have like a concert which is really cool uh, and so cory has gone to hang out with them in the evening leaving me home alone again and i think what I'm going to do is sleep, actually. Because today I got up at um, two o'clock, <laughs> unfortunately, and I went to bed at one o'clock last night because I'm trying to go to bed earlier, wake up earlier. So I got 13 hours of sleep, feel great. Uh, sore, actually, from like probably being in one position for 13 hours. So I'm gonna go to bed early and tomorrow, we have <clears throat> me losing my voice, but tomorrow we have uh, everyone's coming back. So we kind of have like a big meeting. Everyone's kind of getting back to work. Things are kicking back up. You know, it's that time we had our break after buffer and everything kind of, everyone had their decompression time. And now it's time to kick things back up. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Daily vlogs I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away We're here every day It's not a friend